Hey YouTube boys, how is everybody doing today? I don't know why I even open like that. Um, hope your days are going good, your lives are going better, all that shit. You know what I mean, man, either way. We're going to be jumping into Septic Flesh with a song called Coming Storm. And yeah, man, let's go. We've got lyrics and a lyric video, man, so we've got double lyrics. How great is that shit? You totally could, to be fair with you. I thought you were saving it to make me play a full game or whatever the fuck. You were planning. I love the orchestration, it's so pretty. That's an interesting way when it just stopped. The choir boy is very cool. I think it's a choir boy. Oh, what could be a girl? I think boy, but. There is no call. You are so kind of stupid. And your defenders are being used to stop her hands. A sort of physical system of gifted to control. This is my final warning. Rescue from the top of the field of stars. I love the drums, man. The drums are so fucking sick. And this, that's like so cool to listen to. Like the drums just kind of like, it drives it forward so hard. It's like, that's very cool. Um, there is no hope. You are so catastrophic. A flaw of nature, a menace, a bomb device. So yeah, there's no hope for you at all, man. You, you are basically a, a walking catastrophe. You are a flaw of nature, man. You, you're basically going to blow yourself up. You are unjust believers. A violating law. This is my final warning. No escape from the cold, from the fear, from the storm. So, I think it's about religious people, I'm assuming. So, you are unjust believers. So, you believe in something, but you're still unjust because of it. Because, like, the religion itself makes you unjust. I violating law. Yeah. They do. Like, technically, religions all violate laws because they, they were all tax-free. And shit like that, so that's technically violating laws and that's it. So sick. Okay. A crowd terrified, divided by fear. That's true. That's why most people believe in religion because they're fearful of their own demise. And in some ways they've kind of changed their life to kind of be. But if I had no religion here, how would I know not to kill that dude over there? And I'm like, you're fucking scary, mate. Like Honestly, like, I'm happy some people have religion just f so they don't go on fucking rampages because they've got nothing holding them back. I'm like, that's fucking scary, mate. So, yeah, mate, let's keep going. Sure, but I'll do it in a bit. I love the trumpets one and the orchestration. Orchestration is gorgeous. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sure. It's musically gorgeous, man. It's telling a story just with the music. Oh.
getting darker, man. Just from that musical sharing, that sound is so much darker. That's a perfect pause point, too. I was gonna wait for it to end, but that pause point is interesting. Okay. Um. And there we go. I am the hand that feeds you. I am the one that kills you. Don't ask me why. I won't prevent you from committing suicide. I'm guessing this is kind of like from the hand of God, and it like as in speaking from God's point of view in that sense, because it's literally that way. You can see it, like you know, from this point, like how, like literally setting storms on his people, because that's what God did, man. He fucking killed so many people for no reason. He made parents kill their children and all kinds of insane bullshit that is written in the book. But still. Um, you are the last believers who violate the law. This is my final warning. You can't fight, you can't win, you can't stop the weather. Um, I'm the one that feeds you, I'm the one that kills you. Yeah, you kind of get the idea, like, our nature was our killer, we fought inside, we fought, we fought our pride, and... Yeah. It makes total, total sense. Like, it's about how fucked up things are if you kind of take shit a little bit literally. As, there are people who literally, who take the Bible literally, and that's... Scary. Because that book is murder defined in a sense, at least in my opinion, but still. Free, free will is why what, sir? So, what bit what that I was talking about? I keep, I keep going on fucking rants for no reason, but. Man, Septic Flash, you're putting on a symphony for us? They're getting so good at what they do, man. They're just improving so much. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's still sending you to hell if you commit suicide though. That was fucking awesome. But why is it bad if you commit suicide? Like, what makes it an inherently a bad idea to do it? I really want to see the album, man. When does it release, actually? Like, um, I don't think it's out yet, man. Let me check on title, actually. Really quickly. I know it was due to release. I think it was this month. I swear it was this month. But... Oh, never mind. It's out already. Never mind. Okay. Oh, yeah. We definitely gotta do a full album reaction to that shit. This sounds amazing for what we've done so far. I can't wait to actually experience the whole thing as like one great masterpiece, man. Septic Flesh are just... They hit their pinnacle, then they just went further beyond it and... Crazy. I love the orchestration, I love everything about it. Like, I love how... Um, much they've grown as a band. They've just like improved every single style they have. But, like, as Redfield said, man, like, you have free will, you can choose bad or good, but the fact that suicide is considered bad is weird to me because suicide is subjective. If you have, say, you're, you're given 30 days to live and you're in pain for 30 days straight, isn't it fairer to kill you before you suffer for 30 days? It's still suicide, but isn't it fairer to do it that way? Or if you are fucked up by mental incapacities and you can't look after yourself and you're in a home and you're in an institution and you were just a vegetable or you have no memory or loads of other shit that can happen to you right what inherently makes it a bad choice sometimes it's more humane in order to end it right then and there because like if you were in your right mind would you look at yourself and think i i want to live through that because in all honesty i'm gonna say for me personally like, if, if I'm ever in that kind of state, you need to fucking kill me. Like, if I'm ever in that state where I just cannot function. Like, where I'm just mentally gone, when physically gone, man, just end me, man. I just don't. It's not worth it for me. Like, 
that's just how shit is. Um, I guess it's because he gave you life and you took it away. Same with homosexuality. Apparently, you supp you were supposed to be born straight, but mental gay. They think you're choosing to be gay rather than just being gay. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've always been a little bit... Um, not a little bit. I've always been, like, gender fluid. But, you know, before, gender fluid was a thing. So, like, I've always had, like, both in my head. So, it's just, like... I get the idea. It's why, I guess, or, like, subconsciously, I've always been against religion in that sense, too. Because I know, like... For me personally, they would like I'd be burnt at the stake and shit, man. If this was like a hundred, two, three, four hundred years ago. So, either way, man, I get what you mean. Though it's fucked up. Religion's fucked up. That's how religion goes, man. Unfortunately, but still, sick song. We're definitely gonna be doing the album reaction maybe this week. I'm not too sure. Just I'm gonna work out my gym days and all that shit, and then we'll know for sure. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night, and I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then. Take it easy.